Hey everybody, Niels here from Coconut Cockpit. This is the first video of what I hope will be a series of videos about the campaign that I'm making. If you want a little bit more information about the campaign, uh, follow the link in the description or go to coconutcockpit.com. There's some more information there about what the campaign is about and, and who I am specifically. Growing up, I bought a lot of DVDs, and not just because I wanted to watch a lot of movies, which I did, but the main attraction for me was the extras that came with DVDs, more specifically the making of and the director's commentary. I always found it very interesting to get just like a peek behind the curtain to see how movies were made. And I thought, since I'm now building this entire campaign, maybe it would be cool if I could do the same thing for the campaign as well. So these videos won't be in-depth tutorials about the mission editor or scripting in DCS, but more just a general overview of how I specifically go about building the missions, building the entire campaign, and just any tools or technology that I make specifically for my workflow. If you want actual in-depth tutorials, I can very much recommend this video here um, from Reflected Simulations. It's called TCS Mission Editor Tricks. He basically goes through just about everything in the Mission Editor, all the triggers um, and all the functionality that comes with it. It's a really, really, really good video um, that you can check out. And he also has another video called How to Build a DCS Campaign, where he just talks about how he goes about setting up a campaign and everything that he does and how he, he goes about making them. In my day job, I'm a technical animator, which means that I don't necessarily do 3D animations myself, but I work with the animators and the character designers to make sure that if we need characters for our games, that all the technical side of the characters is set up for the animations that we need, um, that the animators have all the custom tools that they need, that the mo -cap, um, motion capture is set up correctly, all of that kind of stuff. So a lot of what I do is build specific technology around existing software or in existing software, which is kind of the same um, what I do in DCS as well. We have the mission editor where you can do a lot of stuff, but also it's, it is a little bit limited and you can extend it quite a lot with scripting. So that's what I'm doing um, with my campaign here as well, is I'm taking that core, the mission editor, not doing a whole lot of it, just doing the bare minimum of what I need to do in the mission editor and then basically extending everything through a lot of scripting. All right, so for this first behind the scenes video, I figured I'd show you guys a little application that I made based on something that I use every day in my day job. So I work a lot with Autodesk Maya, which is a 3D animation software. And inside Maya, there's a thing called a script editor. And the script editor is basically just, it shows you a log of the entire program while it's running. And it allows you to type in um, specific snippets of code or just based in entire code files and run that code either as entire blocks as entire files or just lines by line if you wanted to so i use that quite a lot and i'm quite used to just prototyping ideas in that environment so i figured maybe i can make something like that similar for dcs and i call that the dcs code injector because it injects code into dcs while it's running and let's see how that works so this is the application. Um, I don't need this window, this is a variable window that I'm not really using right now. Um, the top part here is the log from DCS. So while DCS is doing things, this will be updated. And then in the bottom section right here, um, I have a bunch of tab files and I can make new tab files for specific things that I'm doing or just to keep my thoughts separated. Um, and then type in some code here and it will get executed in DCS. So um, this mission right here that we have, it's an empty mission. There is um, one plane in it. It's called uh, the player group and the pilot is called the player. Uh, and there's nothing else in this mission. So let's just run this and then we can play around with the script, uh, with the um, code injector to see what we can do while the mission is running. Um, yeah, we can save this. <coughs> So as you can see, while DCS is loading, uh, we get the entire log here. And I added some um, colors to it to see where it errors out um, or where it gives me warnings. So it's very easy to, um, to see what's happening while the game is running. All right, 
And for this we don't actually need to be in the cockpit, but what I am going to do is turn on the autopilot, so we don't crash. Um, but then let's go to an F10 view. Alright, so let's make a new tab. We'll call this demo miss or whatever. And now I can type in here and execute it in game. So um, the first thing that we want to do, so let's just make a variable, put it in the game, and then we can reference back to it. So let's call our variable player name. And we'll assign that the value of my name, Niels. So when I type this here and I select it and then hit control enter, you can see in DCS it says command completed, so it has received this command, whatever it is. Um, and here in the program I can see the code block that was sent to DCS. So right now in the game there's a variable called player name. And I can test that by um, echoing out that specific variable. So if I do base i, and base i is just a more specific way of printing info to the log. Um, and I execute this. Now I can see, all right, um, the thing that I echoed is player name and player name is Niels. I can change this. Still, the game is just running. So let's make player name Lizzie. Execute that. And now it prints Lizzie. I could do more than just echo out stuff to the log, of course. So let's take player name and instead of printing it to the log, let's actually send a message to everybody in the game with that player name. So let's do message to all and let's do a string.format. Hello, that will be player name, like this. So when I execute this, it says, hello, Lizzie, and shows that in the game. Um, and I can do basically anything you want to do in a DCS script. Um, I can do while the game is running. So let's uh, get a handle on our guy here. So this is called, I called it player group. Um, so let's do group, find by name. And I want to find player group. There we go. So now I actually haven't done anything because I haven't assigned anything. Um, haven't assigned this to anything. So let's just make a group variable and do group find by name player group. So now my little group variable here is the player group in the game. So to test this, to see if I actually have a handle on it, I can do get name, echo that out to the log. There we go. Now it echoes out player group, because that's the name of the group. Um, what we can also do, which might be a little bit more fun, is let's explode this, um, this poor little guy here. So I think that works by, if I get the coordinate from the group, I can do explode with a power. So let's try this. And uh, no, that actually doesn't work. So is it explosion? I should at some point add autocomplete in here, but I haven't gotten around to doing that because it's quite complex. So there we go. Now I exploded our little group. So now maybe instead of exploding something, let's create something, because we're not always destructive. We are benevolent gods, and we want to create stuff in our game world. Um, so I did a little something beforehand here. Um, in my missions, I have my separate database, which basically includes um, the ability for me to spawn anything without actually putting it on the map, which is quite nice. So. What this code is doing right here, we don't need to go over this specifically. It will just uh, spawn a single infantry on the red side. Uh, and it will spawn it right here in this village. Um, so this is also very useful for me while I'm testing stuff. And let's say I'm just flying around and I want to see, um, I don't know, if I kill a unit if something happens. If I then want to respawn that unit, I can respawn a specific thing or I can respawn something else. and 
the cool thing about all of this is I will never have to leave the game while it's running. I can basically just have the mission running and just do everything right here in the code editor without me ever having to go, you know what, quit, restart, quit, restart. So for this, let's see if our infantry guy spawns here. <coughs> so I can run this and here we go. Here is our dude. And now because we are... Um, waging war. Let's see if we can destroy this guy as well. So I can do... Um, Alright, so that actually won't let me get to it. So I spawned a guy, but I don't necessarily know what the name of this guy is, because the alias that I gave it is group with a random um, number attached to it. So since I ran into that problem before, um, I added some buttons here in the code injector and these buttons are very simple to use so what I can do is if I have a piece of code I can just take this drag it off here it will ask me for a cool name there we go and now this code is basically behind this button so what I did uh, beforehand was I added a button here called groups in DB so basically just will just print out all the groups that exist in the database in the mission right now so single infantry red, we're not actually looking at that guy, we're looking at this guy, which will be grouped with a random number, so it will be this guy. So then what I can do, let's see if we can explode this in the same way we exploded the player. Um, so let's do guy is group, find by name, it's this name, and then get coordinates explosion with the strength of 10, 10 and now our poor guy is dead. So as you can see this allows me to very quickly just iterate over ideas while the game is running and if something is destroyed that I need back I can very quickly just spawn something new and I use this all the time. So when I'm when I'm just prototyping ideas I basically just start a an empty mission and then go to work here in the in the code injector and it allows me to very 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 quickly iterate over ideas. Alright, thanks for watching. If you found this video interesting, be sure to give me a like and uh, drop a comment in the comment section. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. I added links to the, uh, to the Coconut Cockpit website and to my Discord server in the description of this video. So if you have any questions or if you just want to talk about DCS mission making in general, come and find me there. I'm, uh, I'm always open to talk to other mission makers and share ideas. And I hope I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. See ya.